Okay. In today's video, we're going to be replacing the timing belt on this 2.3 1994 Ford Ranger. So as you can see, I already started uh, disassembling, but I'm going to go through step by step what you guys are going to need to do if you're doing this yourself. Right, so the first thing you're going to need to do is take off your upper radiator hose. It's going to be here. Go over to your radiator right here. Um, the clamps on this, mine are these. Um, they may be like a actual bolt going to be a eight millimeter if they're a bolt i'm pretty sure so you take that off get that out of the way now your next step <clears throat> is going to be your fan and your shroud so these two have to come off uh like as a pair at the same time um you're going to have four bolts on your fan so it's going to be mounted just like this those are going to be a 10 millimeter so take those 10 those four 10, 10 millimeter bolts out off your water pump um once you get those off there's going to be two bolts holding the shroud on those are going to be eight millimeters once you get those off you'll be able to pull the fan and the shroud out at the same time so once you get your fan and your shroud out next thing is going to be to pull the radiator out it's going to be two bolts um one's going to be right here and the other one will be right here i think they're 10 millimeter um once you get those two bolts out and disconnect your lower radiator hose, which is a uh, eight millimeter on the, the lower hose. Um, <clears throat> tilt the radiator back just a little bit. You should be able to pull it straight out. You don't have to take the radiator out, but it's easier and you don't have to risk banging into it. Um, also, it gives you more room to work down here to get the um, harmonic balancer off, which is a step you're gonna have to do later on. All right, so once you get the radiator out, the next thing you're gonna have to do is disconnect slash loosen up your AC compressor and power steering um, mount. You don't have to take it all off. You don't have to take the lines off, but you are gonna have to loosen it enough to where you can move everything so that this arm, you can move this arm out of the way to get this cover off because this cover is what covers the timing belt, obviously. Um, so for that, you're going to need 13 millimeter and a 10 millimeter. I'm pretty sure the only two bolts. So sizes. if you're on this side right here, you're going to have four bolts on the top of your AC. These four 13s. Once you get those loose, you'll be able to grab your AC compressor on be able to grab your ac compressor pull it up out of the way um you don't have to disconnect any of the lines you don't have to lose any of your refrigerant or anything um my ac doesn't work anyways but then you're going to be at this so you're going to have these bolts are a pain but you're going to have one right here um 13 i believe and you're going to have one in there. That's a 10. You're going to have one over here on the right. And then... So this one on the right. And I don't know if you can see. Yeah, right there. There's another one over here on the right that goes into the block. And then the last one is going to be underneath. I'm going to try to get under there and show you guys. Okay, so if you're looking underneath... I'm going to have to use my other hand to point. So, if you see this this line right here, you follow that line up, there's going to be a bolt. It looks like it's just a mounting point for um, the power steering line, but it also serves as a mounting bolt for the, the bracket and all that. It's pretty hidden. Um, it's hard to reach. But that's the last bolt that you have to take out. It took us forever to find that bolt. Um, but yeah, once you get that out, all of the the whole bracket for the AC and the power steering should be loose. <laughs> okay, so so once you get all these bolts loose, so you can move this around freely, you're gonna need a 
7 8 socket for your crank pulley. Now what you're going to want to do is turn the motor over. If you look on your um, Talon belt cover, right down here, there's going to be marks on it. Mine were covered up with crud, but there should be marks. So you're going to see like 10, 20, 30. Those are past top dead center. And then there's marks on the other side too for, I guess, less than top dead center. TC stands for top center. If you look on your harmonic balancer, there's going to be a notch right here. You're going to want to turn the motor right over to top dead center, or at least as close as you can. Um, if you're in my case and your timing belt broke, you're going to have some valves probably open. So therefore it's going to be really easy to turn over. Um, no compression. So it's probably not going to stay there. But once you get the harmonic balancer off, there's marks underneath of the harmonic balancer for you to be able to tell where top dead center is. But I'll show you that whenever we get the balancer off. All right, so for your crank pulley, you're gonna have that one bolt in the middle. And then if I can find the pulley. Oh, right here. Um, you're gonna have four I think there are 10 millimeter bolts, either 10 or eight, 10 or eight millimeter bolts. Um, take four, those four out. And then you can take your pulley puller, put it down in there, pull your pulley off. Um, once you get the pulley off, you're gonna have this. This is for the crank position sensor. Um, you might need another pulley, a different type of puller to get this one off. Thankfully, mine wasn't seized on there, so I could just wiggle it, pulled it off. Um, so now what you're left with is this right here. So you're not gonna be able to get the timing belt off yet because of this washer. Well, this washer won't come off unless you take the crank position sensor off. Okay, so down here, your crank position sensor is gonna be in the way of your washer, this right here. There's gonna be two bolts, one up here, one right here, eight millimeter. Once you take them out, it's still gonna feel tight because on the back, I don't know if you can see it, there's a dowel pin that aligns this up perfectly whenever you put it back on. What you're gonna have to do is take this, wiggle it left and right, up and down, and it'll pull off. And then once it pulls off, your washer will just slide off and you can take the new time belt off or the old time belt off. Okay, so once you get your old time belt off, um, before you put your new one on, you gotta make sure that everything is aligned right as far as your timing goes. So for your cam gear, if you look on your cam gear right here, there's gonna be this little triangle piece. That's gonna line up to the plastic piece on your timing belt cover right here. That's how you know that your cam gear is in the right position. If you look at your crank, crank gear, there's gonna be a little, that little slit right there, it's gonna line up with this dot on the crank, uh, on the crank gear. You come over here to your oil pump or your accessory pump, whatever you wanna call it. There's gonna be one right here. Now the easiest, what it, the way it has to be is this one and the one down here had to line up. So the easiest way to do it without making it complicated, grab your dipstick. Now if you put your dipstick down here, if your top one's in the right spot, if you line these two up, they'll be lined up perfectly. That's how you know everything is in the right spot. So once you get everything positioned right, you're gonna take your tensioner, you're gonna loosen this bolt and loosen this one. You don't have to take them all the way out if you're not replacing your time belt tensioner. Once you loosen them, take a pry bar about this size, stick it underneath this, pry back, 
as you're prying back, tighten this bolt so it stays back. Then you can start from the bottom and start feeding your time, your new time belt on. So feed it on, starting at the bottom and go counterclockwise. So once you get it on the crank, you're gonna put it on the accessory and then you're gonna come over to the top of the cam gear, get it set on the cam gear, run it back over the tensioner. So right now it's still loose. So in order to tighten it up, you're gonna take your, this one's a 13. This one on the back is a 13 and this one is a 17. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your 13 socket, put it back on this. And you're gonna loosen it. Now if you watch, whenever I loosen it, the tensioner should swing out. Just like that and put uh, tension back on your time belt. So now the time belt's tight. So now you're gonna tighten this bolt back up and tighten this one back up. That way your tensioner can't move any. All right, so once you have your tensioner bolts tightened up, you're gonna take your washer, lines up with the keyway, slide it back on you're going to put your two bolts for your crank position sensor back in. You feel me? All right, so once you get the... Um, dowel pin for the crank position sensor line back up you can start on your bolts don't tighten it all the way because you're probably going to have to spin it in order to get both of them lined up but get them both started and then tighten them up evenly you don't want this thing to be all out of line which is what the dowel pin is for but so now only thing left to do is reverse everything that you previously have done yeah so put the time belt cover on slide your piece for the crank position sensor in and now it's going to be harmonic balancer tighten that up and then i think after that it's going to be all the ac and power steering mount stuff going back on all right so once you get your um bolts on to hook up to your um, crank position sensor, put your can't think. Backer in the hole? No. Put your harmonic balancer back on. Uh, tighten that down, and then you're gonna have to start reassembling your AC and power steering pump brackets. Um, I'm not putting the bolt in that was on the bottom that I showed you guys because. It's unnecessary, and if I ever have to take this off again, I do not want to have to get that bolt off. So for me, it's just the three bolts in the top, um, and then your four bolts for your AC go back in. And then from here on out, it's pretty simple. Uh, put your pulley back on, radiator back in, hook everything back up, good to go. So once you get your everything put back together, reassembled, you're gonna wanna make sure you refill your coolant. Um, I already put some concentrate in here, so this is just water. Uh, bleed it off, so get you a funnel like this, let it run, let the thermostat open up. That way you don't end up with any air pockets and no cooling issues. Should be good to go.